What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you a really cool laptop. It is a gaming laptop with a full version of Windows 10 that can fit in your pocket. So right here we have the GamePad Q9, we have the GamePad XD, and the GamePad Win. These both are pre-rooted Android tablets. So you can play emulators, arcade emulators, Nintendo 64, uh, PlayStation emulators. You just have to get the ROMs and install it into the folder. But um, they're great for Android. So if you have, if you like Android, these are great tablets for kids under 15. If you were in high school or in college or you travel a lot, the GamePad Win is going to be more up your alley because you could do so much more with it. It is a whole entire computer in like a pocket size. Now the next generation, they went all out. The GamePad designers decided to go with something bigger and better this time around. This time around, they wanted to make a GamePad for Windows 10, so you could play Steam games and stream games from your desktop computer. They published it on Indiegogo, which did extremely, extremely well. The specs on this new GamePad Windows 10 version will have a touch screen, Wi-Fi that supports B, G, and N, Intel Atom quad-core processor, 64 gigs of internal storage, Type-C for fast charging, HDMI output, 4 gigs RAM, 720p HD screen, and a USB port in the back, version 3.0, and a micro SD card slot so you can expand your storage up to 128 gigs. There's two versions currently out, the fanless version and the fan version. The fan version helps with cooling and it has an upgraded battery pack and an upgraded Intel Atom quad-core processor. Uh, in the back right here, you got the R2, which is clickable, R1, L2, and L1, very clickable, nice feeling uh, buttons on top right here. This is a left click with the mouse. This is right click with the mouse. You got the uh, type C to charge the device, which is easier to use than the micro USB. So it comes with a two amp, five volt power adapter. And type C is nice because you could reverse it like that. You can plug it in either way. And the HDMI output, you got the expanded storage, micro SD card slot supports up to 120 gigs and 3.0 USB port. You could plug in your printer, a mouse, a Xbox 360 controller to play some Steam games, even though they have controls built in and your uh, headphone jack. It also supports Bluetooth, which is nice. You can connect your Bluetooth headset to it if you don't like connecting it hardwired. But they at least they give you that option. Right here is your microphone. So all three of these, yeah, they all three have microphones. On the bottom right here, you'll notice something different. You got your fan speed. You got your low, medium, and high. I tend to leave it on high because sometimes I forget when I'm playing uh, games to sw um, change that switch. So let's go ahead and open it up. And right here we have a full keyboard. And this keyboard is a premium keyboard. Uh, none of the uh, keys jiggle. I don't even think I could pry these out if I wanted to. They're really in there. And they feel good. I feel a click every time I press them. And here's, here's the power on and off button, the Xbox button. It allows you to um, record your gameplay, which is pretty cool. Uh, volume up and down. Now, this is one thing I don't understand why they put it here. I'm not really sure. We got the L3 and R3 down here. And on the other gamepad, you got right here your R3 and L3 right up here, which is convenient because if you need to get to uh, the R3 button, you just go boom. It's nice to have the R3 right there. It's pretty convenient. And the five inch screen, uh, it's a little bit too small for me. I'm glad they went with a 5.5 inch screen. This screen size for me is uh, more comparable to an iPhone 7 Plus or an iPhone 6 Plus or a Samsung 6 Edge or a Samsung 7 Edge size screen. Here's the mo um, control modes. You switch it over here. That's Xbox controller mode. Switch it over here. It's mouse keyboard mode. That's what you're probably going to be using most often. And this is D input mode. I pretty much never use that mode. So here's the difference fan speeds. If you leave it on low, 
it may overheat and the P, uh, PC may shut down as a safety precaution. Um, on medium, you don't hear it, it'll keep it running. It's a good speed, fan speed, if you're web browsing. And if you're gaming, I highly suggest turning it on high or else your game's gonna begin to lag or may crash. But it's really not that bad, as you can hear. The controls are pretty well thought out. My thumbs naturally just rest right on the joysticks. You got buttons A, B, X, and Y. D-pad right here feels pretty good and solid. The joysticks on top are rubberized. It just feels like a premium built miniature gaming laptop. The things I wish they uh, actually moved is this speaker right here. My hand tends to cover the speaker grill and muffle the sound. Um, for the GamePad XD, I think the speaker placement was better right up front. And the same goes for over here. The vent for the fan is uh, again right here. And my left hand is blocking the vent for the fan. So if they could um, hopefully make a case where there's like a chamber and it redirects the sound going up and it would be aiming upward so all that hot air would be blowing this way up and my hand, even if my hand is pressed up hard against the unit, still there will be a gap right here. When navigating, you want to switch it to mouse and keyboard mode. And here is my mouse. See that? You might want to adjust some of the mouse settings and increase the size of that uh, mouse pointer icon. That really helps. Now for me, um, it's kind of hard to see the screen. So what I do is there's two options. You can go to Magnifier, the app. Every Windows 10 PC has the app called Magnifier. And it just basically magnifies your screen. So you just move the mouse around. And this is good for web browsing or if you're on your desktop. Now, it deactivates when you're in gameplay. So don't worry. And X out of that. Now, in my opinion, I think this is best if you actually have it um, in this mode. So we're going to click on the notification down here on the bottom right. There we go. So once you pull up notifications, you'll see on the bottom here tablet mode and rotation lock. I had the rotation lock on, but I turned it off because I realized the gyro sensor is in here with the keyboard, not the screen. So when I held it like this by accident, I held it upside down. The screen was upside down. And then when I try to put the screen up, it wasn't flipping. So I was like, why is it not flipping now? Because the gyro sensor's in here. So you have to hold it like that, then it'll flip. Uh, another thing is that you really kind of want it in tablet mode. So we're gonna put it in tablet mode right now. And I think this is the best mode to have it in. In tablet mode, you could customize the size of all the icons. If you want to add more, you can click on, on the three lines that little menu button right here it's kind of hard to press there you go and then you could choose your app let's say uh, you got your alarms you press and hold that and then drag it over I already have it pinned so it's not going to go anywhere which with Hulu it's really cool because you can actually put your favorite TV shows straight onto your home screen so let's go ahead and try out Minecraft okay the controls are not working but these controls are See, when they designed this, they designed the controls to work uh, with or without the switch um, being uh, switched over back and forth. And the reason why is uh, when you press W, okay, and S, that's forward and back. Well, this is W and this is S. I'm sorry. Let's, we're going to do something. All right, gonna close the app, swipe down. I think I have to switch it to Xbox mode right here when it starts. Let's see if that works. Yeah, see? Because if you do it during gameplay, it doesn't work. So you got to keep that in mind. So when you want to switch that uh, control mode uh, right before the game boots up. Yeah, the controls are really easy to use, solid. I like the controls. Really easy to use. Let's go to the next step up, which is, uh, I like this game, Trine 2. Now, Trying to, we're gonna try uh, Xbox and you know Windows mode. Uh, you want to have it in 720p. Make sure when you're playing your games, have the resolution set to 720p. Uh, I had the graphics set to very high. All right, so cool. The um, Xbox controls are working in this game. 
Now look at the colors on this. This is pretty nice. And it plays it so easily. Really nice graphics. Plays really nice and seamless. Games like this really shine on the GamePad Win. Now right here, you want to, this is your left clicker and this is the right mouse. So you want to go ahead and move your hand right here. Press that and you can move it. That was the other one. Alright, so now if you want to stream on this device, what you have to do is you have to download Steam. It's a free app, just Google it. And once you download Steam, it's going to make your um, gamepad win look like a game console. So once you're in Steam, you want to go ahead and go to the upper left hand corner, click on that, and go to settings. And then in settings, you want to go to in home streaming. And you want to select in home streaming in settings. And then you want to select on enable streaming. Once you click on that, you'll see your computer pop up. And then you want to select fast on both um, on the gamepad win and also on your desktop computer. And then save it and hit OK. Now on your Steam, you want to do the same thing. Click on Steam, click on settings, click on in home streaming, click on enable click on fast and then hit OK to save. Okay, so you want to leave your PC on, but you can turn your PC monitor off if you want to. That's no problem. And another thing, you have to have your desktop computer plugged in hardwired to the same router as the gamepad win is connected to. All right, so let's go ahead and stream. So we're gonna stream Doom. Click on that, Doom. And this is a high graphic intense game, stream. All right, so it looks like the controls are working, thank God. And we're running at 55 frames per second, it looks like. Alright, so the controls work really well, it streams really well, uh, the frame rate drops just a little bit but stays relatively above 30, which is perfect. Now when you open up the gamepad box, and you'll notice that you have uh, your earbuds right here, and your charging cable, and a charging adapter. I really wish they included this guy instead of the earbuds, which is a mini HDMI to standard HDMI connection. This way you can plug in to any big screen TV. With Windows 10, they make it really easy. It's just plug and play. So you just plug it in right here into the HDMI port. And then you plug it in on the side. Any HDMI port works. And it should, boom, see? The game is, the controls are working really well. The game's playing really well. It has a built-in screen recorder. Just go ahead and move that switch to the right. Press the Xbox button right here, the X button, and it gives you the options to screen record. And just hit A to screen record. You want to go to your video folder and go to captures, and then you can click on one of your screen recordings right here. So I, I screen recorded Minecraft. Oh, well, this was yesterday. So if you guys are interested in the gamepad win, check out the link in the video description below. I think it's a really great gaming portable laptop. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos and tech reviews coming your way, click on that subscribe button. And click on the share button if you know anyone that's interested in a miniature uh, gaming laptop that's always on the go.